Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from TV Butter. Um, today is another <coughs> dun dun -oh day, another dun dun -oh video um, because my fiance is sleeping so I have to um, lower my voice. I hope um, you guys forgive me. So today I have three dun dun -ohs to show um, with you, to share with you. So first two are my custom orders and they are uh, willing to let me just film this video and um, just share with you all. And the other one is a, my very first hardcover hard cover journal that I made a few days ago, which is a which is a total failure. I will show you why in a minute. But yeah, um, let's let's get a quick flip through of this stone journal first so um, first of all I have a little disclaimer um, I will list all the things and people or anything anyone who inspired me in for this stone journals in the description box um, so if I have anything related to them or inspired by them I will talk about I will mention them in my video so um yeah let's get started the f let's get started with this one first because this one is for a lovely lady um but she doesn't want me to um say her name and i have her name right here in, in the corner so i have to cover that up but um she asked me to make a junk journal and she loves fall she loves red green um, flowers and things like that, animals and plants and so um, that's the cover that I custom for her and um, she approved it so I went ahead and make this cover and those fabric actually was inspired by um, Nancy <clears throat> also I will link her YouTube channel down below but she did mention that um, some of the fabric, fabric store or fabric shop online especially on Etsy maybe did she say that? Maybe yes. Um, anyway, online is not um, very good. They, they're not very high quality and this is not very good print. So I am glad that this one that I came across is is fairly good and, and I really like the color and really like the, um, the intense color and, and the flowers pattern and everything. I just don't know how to make the fabric basically, but um, those turn out to be just okay but I will definitely look for um, to check out all the online no check out all the local thrift store to see if I have any other um, fabric option I do make my my hot cover journal with the fabric that I that I bought from a fabric store but uh, which is fairly um, more expensive than the one that I uh, but online but yeah I will definitely find out more um, quality fabric and I probably I will use them in my in my journal maybe not um, yeah I don't know I will just try my best to find more fabric and share with you guys so those fabric are from Etsy I will link the Etsy shop down below as well because there are so many people already asked me the question where did you get your fabric so here's the fabric and it's a fabric bundle. It has the bigger um, wet tangle, <laughs> wet tangle version and the little square version as well. So I bought those two and she did give me some freebie as well. So I think it's a good shop. And so far the fabric, they don't have any problems with me. So yeah, maybe I'll continue to do that. So in the center is just a picture from um, internet. She likes fall, she likes a big leaves and then green background so that's why I chose this one for her and I printed on a tea dye paper and stitched them together on the cover so when you open it up uh, because she loves green and red so I chose another vintage postcard um, with the color green and red so apparently it is a postcard very very old postcard from 1907 is really really old and this little um pinky green hat with a lot of roses red roses and it says best wishes so i think it's the best postcard that i can um find for her so i um, stitched all the corner 
and glue it down on the inside. So this is the front page. Um, I have this Lotus print um, pattern paper and I have a little um, collage pocket in here um, where I store this little, little photo from Tim Hortz. And I have some uh, cheesecloth and this botanical birdie um, paper just on top of the cheesecloth. And I just I found this little trim on uh, from the fabric store as well. So I just think it's gorgeous. I love I love the dark red so much. So I just stitch it um, down on the bottom, give it a little bit color when you um, close the notebook. That's what I think. And then at the back um, is a pocket. I just put a little ephemera. Um, in this pocket and I have some collage over and over there and here and then here is another pocket I have other um, fabrics and laces vintage lace on top of the pocket and here is just two envelopes that um, I got online this one is a rabbit this one is some birds and botanical and stamping I just think she will love the color combination so I just put it in here, put them together with a little clip. And vintage pages. And here is another peekaboo pocket with another botanical card pocket and also a, another peekaboo pocket as well. So you will have three pockets in here. And here is another one with a little tag. I just love to create multiple pockets on one page because um, as far as I'm concerned, I know you guys love journal. I know you guys, the purpose you bought this journal is for journaling, right? Just writing or drawing or things like that. Just document your daily life. Um, so I try to maximize the, um, the usage of this journal, which you can have tons of pockets and tons of rooms to journal. So I love to create a pocket on a pocket on the pocket. I'm not sure if you if you understand, but I will show you more um, later on. So this is the first page. I love the um, pattern paper in here as well. And then more spaces to journal, some music paper, some stamping. And here is another pocket. I have some um, laces on top with this little garment pin and this little dove um, charm in here. So this actually is a pocket. It was inspired by uh, Nancy. I remember she had a little, um, a little corner, a little uh, pocket on top of her journal as well. So um, I, I happen to have those beautiful botanical print paper or print card. So I just stitched them together and um, in on the page and. Here is a little pocket. In the pocket, I just have a little tag of this little fish. Um, some chasing paper. Um, I love to see how it's um, see-through. Um, and then you can see what's, what papers is behind this chasing paper. And it's this fairy tale um, little page. Um, so this book, I guess I talked about it last time, but I don't remember any. Oh, it's is called a flower fairies treasure treasury something i will link it down below as well so i love this um little illustration um i saw it on nancy's youtube channel and actually i bought this book like really a couple months ago and i didn't have a chance to use them but now i just it seems to it seems so good um that i put um any pages in any of my journals so i decided to do that and then some ledger and here is a big pocket um, inside a big pocket I have this um, little letter from 1975 and then I guess I'm too loud but anyway <laughs> and then I have a little stamping um, cars and fabrics and vintage book page collage um, and the corner um, I think it just matched the color theme and it matches um, her favorite color, which is uh, green and red. 
and then another journal space uh, uh, places or spaces uh, vintage pages and here is a little half page tag um, it's inspired by Nick the Booksmith and I also make a multiple pocket out of it um, on top of this um, half page tag so here is a pocket here is another peekaboo pocket I have a little dirty muslin on the edge and then that's for um, this one so basically you have um, two pockets in here to store any smaller sizes of papers and then it's another um, pattern paper which is a pocket again so this pocket is um, a little blueprint um, pocket and I have some collage in here it is inspired by Nick the Booksmith as well as Fiona J I will links I will link their channels down below they all have this little um, collage um, ideas on on their journals and then I have little stamps over there and in the center is an envelope um, I make it from out of from out from <laughs> out of a, some vintage paper pages about trees and fruit and here is another um, side of the pocket I just have a lot of towels in here and then I have this little um, journaling papers in here so this one you have one pocket and here is another pocket you can store more things in here and this little fabric I know she would like this fabric because it is is the red color um, so I put it in here kind of like cover the little birdie um, underneath I think it's very cute so you can store your pictures in here or some quotes or some um, moments that you don't want to public it or you don't want to share with others you can always cover with this pocket I'm not sure if Nancy did this before but um, I remember she did something like on the uh, journaling pages to cover um, some secrets so I just um, inspired by that and then I put it on the pocket and then that's the other side of the half page tags also you will have two pockets in here one and two and then a little fold out and then here is the tuck spot um, it also has some collage on top of the uh, the scrapbook paper the tuck spot and here I have a little postcard print out more journal spaces another fold out another fold out and here is a little collage music paper and here is a chai fold a lot of um a lot of artists have been doing this already so I will try my best to link everyone that I've seen on the description box um, yeah but if I miss one or two please don't judge me or um, I will try my best and then here's the pocket I just put a little shipping tag in here and at the back is another people pick up poop pocket and I have this um, calendar journal card um, just tuck it in here so she can um, highlight the date to kind of um, just put it in on the page so you know um, on which day you went to this place kind of like a little reminder and then another tuck spot I make it out of um, this very old vintage postcard and then here is another tuck spot at the back so that's the end um, this journal is for a lovely girl I will I hope you like it I hope you like it I really enjoy making this one especially all the pockets and pick up pockets and all the laces and fabric I really love this one so next one is another other for another lovely girl Anna I hope I pronounced your name right shows she loves stamping letters um, calligraphy um, animals plants botanical and a shade of blue green and yeah dark red gray something like that she doesn't like fabric she doesn't like um, she doesn't like pink so I try to try my best to avoid them so here you go here is the journal that you will receive in a couple days um, I really love this this scribble paper this scribble paper is from Tim Hort I forgot the name 
I forgot the series name, but you will definitely find it on Instagram, oh, no, on Etsy or, you know, Amazon or eBay, you will definitely find them. Um, I just love how they collage all the postcard, vintage postcard together. And on top of it, here is a little, not a little, but a big red flower. I just love it. So I have this um, book ready to share. Um, so on the on the cover, I have a little um, cheesecloth, some vintage page about birds, and here is some tea dye chasing paper as well. Um, so I also ink um, the, the, the ruffle as well, ruffle. So when you open it up, because she loves stamping and she loves, um, letters and, you know, things like that. So I chose this vintage, um, lettering or stamping cards for her. And then I put it here as a pocket. And here is a large shipping tag. So this is the half page, um, half page tags. No, half page tag. Um, in here I have a huge peekaboo pocket and I have some collage on top of it. So in here I just put another botanical card. And then, so this is the pen and paper that I chose for her um, because she loves dark red and then I love, love this dark red so much. And I have this little birdie um, cards on top as a pocket. Inside a pocket, I have another little label. So she can write on the day that she started this journal or a little shop description of this journal in here. And a little stamping collage as well, just because she loves collage. And here is another um, fabric paper collage. And inside this pocket, I have to show you something very exciting that I just came across. Um, this one, this page actually is a printout from a scrapbook page. So this scrapbook, uh, scrapbook is from 19th century, uh, probably early 1820 or something. It's very, 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 very old. So, um, the owner has the scrapbook and she scanned them and I just came across it and I just um, purchased the digital um, pack and I have this little prints in here. So, um, um, so I have, so it has those two very old postcards, another postcard, some lettering. So each page is different and I make it into a journal paper. Uh, front and back. At the back, you can journal, and I aged the edge already, so you have this little uh, old-looking journal papers in here. Some vintage paper, uh, more stamping, more photos, and here is the uh, chai fold journal journal paper, as well as a pocket, and I just have this little tag, tuck it in here. More vintage page, journal spaces, a double um, uh, pickable pocket inspired by Nick, Nick the Booksmith. And I just put some journal cards in here and there. And I love the background um, fabric paper as well. I just love it. <laughs> and more sewing and ledger, uh, music paper, and another um, big pocket. I have some collage on top of the pocket and here is just a little garment pen and this little dove. I put another big um, shipping tag in here in case you want to put pictures and short description on any page so you can do that with the shipping tag. More pen and paper. I love this one as well. I love my recent find of <laughs> my um, pen and paper bundle. They're gorgeous. I can't wait to show you guys. Can't wait to print more and show you guys. So I have a little um, book page here and there. Here is book page as well as a pocket. I just have this little um, ephemera. Tuck it in here. More chasing paper. More mat. She loves mat as well. Map as well. So I have this little print for her. And this is a little shipping tag. Um, 
cheesecloth and the vintage postcard. Um, I just tuck it in here. It has this little lonely boys playing, um, just sitting on top of the statue. Um, so I just think it's very lovely. So I put it in here. Have more stamping. And this tag is um, was inspired by Nick the Booksmith. In the center, I have this um, envelope. Inside the envelope, I have a real um, vintage letter from 1942, August 19. So I just tuck it in here. I put a little pin to kind of secure the closer. And then I have the um, matching um, envelope for the leather. Another map paper, pattern paper, little fold out, little pocket with collage, and another fold out with some collage as well. Another fold out paper, and here is the other pocket that I make. And also you have some dirty muslin, and I have little um, ephemera, ephemera here. So you have one pocket, a second pocket, and the third tuck spot. So you can put tons of um, papers and, and journal papers or things that you would like to put in the pockets. And at the back is another pocket, of course. I just love to make pockets um, on the, on the page. At the same time, you will have journal spaces to journal, actually. So I just love to measurement the, um, the usage of the paper. You gotta be um, creative on the paper and, and then you can journal and uh, store your stuff at the same time. Music paper ledger. And here is another print um, pattern paper. And here is another uh, pick up pocket. And here is another pocket. Um, I just put some um, coupon or ticket in here. Some fabric and chasing paper and some stamping. Vintage page, another um, vintage page. I just fold it in um, half and you can journal on the empty spaces. So that's the back of the half, half page tag and here's another pocket as well. Um, some collage with stamps. So that's this one. I absolutely adore this one. I just, you know, how stuffy, how stuffy they are, they're stuffing. They are stuffed with a lot of stuff. So <laughs> probably you need to take something out um, if you feel like it's too bulky in your Midori chocolate notebook or any other kind of notebook. So, um, you can just take something out if you like. So those two um, journals are custom orders. I still have a few to catch up. I have like seven or eight journals to catch up. So maybe there will be a delay for the next new release. I hate to say that, but I will try my best to catch up all my custom orders within this week and within this week. Um, so I can start to make some new collections and. I already have those paper printouts for my next um, collection. I uh, okay. I will just show you. I will just show you what I have right now. So is here something here. So uh, the first journal that I am making right now is for one of my favorite illustrator in nineteenth century. I'm not sure if you recognize him, but I won't say his name right now because I need to Google how I pronounce his name first. But I believe is Arthur Rackham. I love his I love his illustration. I love his work. Um, so I will be making him first. And yeah, stay tuned with that. And now I have another journal to share. My still video. Okay, share this one is. Um, and handmade hardcover journal. I use just I just use some cardboard or hard cover boxes, something like that, cardstock boxes, and make the cover. And I have little uh, fabric on the edge, and I have this little fabric pocket that I 
all glue all the way around um, the journal. And then I just put two of my favorite postcards in here. This three lovely Victorian ladies. I just love it so much. So I have to put it here. So the print is um, French toil print. I don't know. I just found it from the fabric store. It was on sale. $5 for one square. Um, square fabric so I just purchased this set to practice but it turns out very very hard it's just very hard to make a journal hard cover journal um, the binding is totally a mess so yeah as you can see I can glue down here I still need to learn how to adjust the um the uh, the the cover and yeah, I still had to learn how to bind everything together. So, but I love this one. Um, I make this one for just um, my journal research because next collection is about illustrator, about artists um, from long time ago. So I have to Google them. I have to um, just re do some research research before I make the journals. So this. Um, notebook is for the research so first of all i have this little print lovely rose print paper it's a pocket um i don't have any exciting things in this journal just because i don't need it <laughs> i just have a little tab uh no no little book uh, fabric twine on top um they are just a gift from uh, nick the booksmith yes that um here's where they have been uh, i just put them in here so those are the illustrator list that I want to make um, with my journals and some writer list and I have something that I want to include in the in the journal so I have them in here. So the first one is the author recom, um, some birthdays and when he died and some background uh, information about him. So just a very basic you can see I can't even lay flat my notebook. But anyway, I, love, I still love this notebook. It's my first chai. <laughs> I gotta love him. Some just random pages and yeah, just random fabric, um, pattern paper. And I haven't even sold this um, page as, a, as an envelope yet. I just tuck it in here, some fold out. Just really, really random pages that I I just have them handy and that's why I just made this journal in like 30 minutes. I love this print. Girls, look at this print. I love this one. I have to make more, print more and include them in my next new collection. I love this one. More print paper, more chasing paper. Just anything that I have in my basket, I just put in here. So that's my first try. Um, it's not too bad, but apparently it's not perfect. Um, I will still um, look for more um, methods, ways to make your journal, how cover journal, and I will definitely have my next try very soon. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you guys what I've been doing, and it's not perfect, but I absolutely adore this this journal. So that's today's update. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. And if you have any questions, just make sure don't don't hesitate to email me or talk to me. I don't know. It's been really um, stressful lately, and I just I just I just want you guys to enjoy the video. Enjoy me talking in the background. Enjoy. I just I enjoy to share everything with you guys. And yeah, just have a great day. Have a lovely day. I will see you in the next video soon. Bye-bye.